It's time to say no to people. There are many people in your life who are counting on you and relying on you to save them and take care of them. But who will save you? Or take care of yourself? You are a very strong person, so you tend to attract people who are struggling emotionally. People see your strength and think in their heads that you're okay, you can do anything. And that's not always true. Sometimes we feel exhausted, discouraged, and just want to have a relaxing day, but some people just don't understand. I think it was his year when you told people the truth about your feelings. Tell them you're tired, too busy to be there right now, or that you'd like to be alone in. For a while. Sometimes we're afraid to express these things because we don't want anyone to think we don't care or that we're being selfish. At this point, let's think about what people want to think. After all, even if you were the hero of every story, they would always find a way to disrespect you or not appreciate everything you do, because they are unhappy within themselves. Is. Or maybe he's jealous of you and the praise you receive from others. Understand that the good people of the world will always remember you as a good person and will not judge or belittle you for choosing to put your mental health and career first. Her advice is to use her days of the day for yourself. Eating out alone, going to the library or movie theater alone. Please take your time, I'm not being lazy. You can find a balance between caring for others and caring for yourself. All you need to do is say, no and practice boundaries You were always with more than enough, in the past, you may have lacked motivation due to previous obstacles. These obstacles can include people with low vibrations or low frequencies. You have the ability to attract people from all walks of life and backgrounds. However, some of these energies you attract can be depleting and toxic. In the past, some people were, or still are, not able to take good care of their own mental health because they were busy caring for others. You used to be insecure and stubborn, but now you realize that it is the people and energies around you that are lowering your vibration. But now, you are starting to have a lot of awareness about yourself and those around you. Now you see through people's true colors and understand how toxic some people can be. This his, person, or these past energies, have made you feel weak or like you're not good enough or not doing enough. You were forced to double-check every mirror you passed because you might have felt like you didn't look good enough. I was forced to write long sentences explaining myself and constantly apologize, even when I felt I had done nothing wrong. Sometimes you hold on to those energies even though they no longer exist. You are holding on to these energies because your mind has adapted to them, and now you have to move away from them. Even if you feel like you are not healing, your guardian angel and God want you to know that you are healing. To release these energies, you must forgive yourself for holding them there. Have compassion for yourself and understand that someone who is honest and good for you will calm and alleviate fear, rather than create it.